Hey guys, Danny Johnson here, and today we're going to be talking about the Terminator. And what we're going to talk about are the supercharger options and what's kind of on the market right now, what's popular, and some of the stuff that might be in the future. Uh, first of all, um, all the Terminators came with the Eaton Supercharger, so we'll start with that, and that's a good uh, option. A lot of people will port the blower, uh, add a smaller pulley, and you can get about 500 horsepower uh, to the wheels out of those pretty good. Some people have 520, you're getting a little bit closer there. So the stock Eaton for uh, you know a budget, it's, it's still a, a good option. Okay, next we're going to talk about the twin screw superchargers because they kind of came out to overshadow the stock Eaton. And so we're talking about a Whipple, you're talking the Kenny Bell, and then um, Vortex Lysholm, however you pronounce that. So those were kind of the main twin screw uh, superchargers that came out around the time that the Terminator was new. Okay, now uh, you also have the new VMP TVS. Okay, it's also kind of a joint deal with Eaton, so it's kind of like the Eaton's coming back, the Roots is coming back. Um, it's a root style blower and it's very efficient. So uh, right now, what's the most popular? Well, first of all, just because it came with an Eaton, you probably still have a lot of pulley stock Eaton Cobras running around. So that's probably what's most popular. As far as aftermarket goes, uh, it seems like Kenny Bell has kind of died off. I don't know, I don't really hear a lot of people, I don't even know if you can still buy a lot of the new superchargers from them. And uh, I'm hearing a lot of people talk about having to rebuild them. I know a, a friend of mine had a, a Kenny Bell that he had rebuilt like two or three times. And so I don't know what the deal is. Um, I've also heard that uh, if you thought the Eaton created a lot of extra heat, the, the, the Kenny Bells are also that way. Um, so I think Kenny Bell's kind of fading to the back. So you're kind of left now, uh, and also the the Vortec version, the uh, the Lysholm, I I barely even see those at all. So uh, your most popular options right now are Whipple or the VMP TVS. Uh, so with Whipple, you have basically the two three liter, the two point nine liter the 3.4 and the 4.0. So you have a good variety of sizes of blowers. And um, their technology is still kind of older to where the Terminator came, you know, to when it came out, other than, you know, that they've gone into a, a Gen 2 and, and all that. And they're just now releasing the third Gen 2.9 liter. So everyone's excited to see, you know, how that's going to go because to tell the truth, the 2.3 TVS has been kicking Whipple's butt. You know, you're basically getting the same performance from a 2.3 liter on the VMP as you need to, uh, you, you need a 2.9 Whipple just, just to be level with that one. So, um, right now I personally would say that the battle is between Whipple and VMP and uh, we're going to have to see how this third gen really does for the 2.9 on the Whipple. Um, and also, there's a lot of talk about the new GT500 possibly having a bigger uh, VMP TVS on it. So if that's the case, we wonder if it'll, if it'll uh, evolve and go on to the Terminator. If not, I guarantee people will make uh, adapter kits so that it does. But uh, all in all, right now, if you're just getting a Terminator and you're looking for an aftermarket blower, you're looking, uh, my opinion would be, go out and buy a used 2.3 uh, Whipple Gen 2, even a Gen 1's fine, and you're going to see 600 horsepower, and you can pick those up for 2,500 to 3,000 is kind of a, a, a good aftermarket uh, number there. And uh, I was doing a lot of pricing. If you're going to buy a new blower, definitely check out Lethal Performance Sale around Christmas. Uh, Whipple has a, they have a, a good one for Whipple and VMP. And uh, basically, um, those were kind of the two competitors. But uh, you might want to hold off just a little longer to see how this third gen 2.9 does for Whipple, and see if TVS, uh, if if they have a a bigger one coming out with the new GT500. But uh, basically. Um, I think those are the two highest com competing aftermarket blowers would be the Whipple or the, the TVS and um, all in all they're, they're both great blowers so 
anyway, let me know if you have any uh, comments or any news on how the new third gen's doing or if uh, VMP's going to have a new one. I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks.